Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you hear that triumphant music? It is indeed because it is Friday, and what a treat we have today. Because we are going to be playing Winter More Tactics Club. What is this game? I'm not going to tell you yet. I'm going to tell you why is this game. My old roommate, one of the loveliest human beings of all time, Kyla, worked on this fucking game. Which means, though I have seen no gameplay footage and know little to nothing about the gameplay mechanics, I wholeheartedly endorse this product and I encourage you to buy it as many times as you can afford. In fact, don't sub to me next month. Don't do it. Buy Wintermore Tactics Club. It's on Steam. $15. Discounted how much? Like 10%. I think it was $13.47 when I picked it up this morning. Look at this. Listen, we're gonna go to credits. And... BBC Games. Wait, hold on. Who did the narrative? Kyla Fury! There it is. There it is. Do you need a better reason? Do you need a better reason than that? Will I not be shameless? No, I will be very shameless. Kyla's the fucking best, man. Uh, when I used to have very long worky trippies and come home and be a little bit emotional and tired, Kyla would make me potato leek soup. And in fact, often for no reason other than the joy of soup, Kyla would make me potato leek soup. I would also talk to Kyla about video games all the damn time. So, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta stream it. I gotta play it today. I gotta play it and stream it today. We gotta do this. When is this game coming to Switch? Seagull of Doom asks, I don't know, but it is coming to Switch, isn't it? I don't know. I know nothing, really. I just think that as a streamer, it's my job to compellingly perhaps lie, but maybe not necessarily. We'll get some confirmation in a quick moment. Yes. Okay. A few announcements before we hop into the game. A few announcements before we hop into the game. First of all, first of all, big one, big one. Uh... We have been collaborating on a multiplayer stream-focused game, and we need 20 playtesters for a test on Monday. I need your minds, your bodies, and your fingers. Goodness, it sure did get hot in here. And by that, I mean I didn't turn on my air conditioning until 90 seconds ago, so I'm chilly. We need playtesters. We need 20 playtesters for our multiplayer stream-only game. To do it, go to our website, day9.tv, click on the community tab, and then boom, you will see the Discord there. It's going to be happening on Monday, May 11th at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern. And we need North American players with high-end PCs. That'll be discrete GPU and 3.5 gigahertz plus. If you go to the announcements channel, you'll see more instructions there. So again, go to the Day9 TV Discord, go to the announcements channel, and please help us playtest our game. It's going to be on stream here in a little bit. Not on Steam, on stream. Leon Chi says UK not allowed. Uh, you can try. You can try to slip in there, Leon Chi, man. We can try. You can try. Uh, other other things to note. Uh, Kyla is in the chat. She's under the idea of Caged Tiger. Feel free to ask her anything at all about life in the game. But primarily, everything is up for questioning for Kyla if I'm reading your... Uh, comment correctly. Uh, on Monday, we're doing mostly walking in the evening. Tuesday, we're doing the usual Magic the Gathering. But in the evening, I am doing a broadcast of the USC Games Program, the University of Southern California's Games Program, end of year expo games. So we're kind of doing an online showcase of all the games that people have been playing. Excuse me, all the games people have been working on throughout the uh, throughout the year. And so we're going to be streaming some of them. Oh my god, I'm so happy. We're going to be playing this game. It's going to be so sick. Also, uh, in the credits, uh, an artist, a Seattle-based artist that I adore named Justin Oaksford also worked on this. Uh, which is super sick. Uh. <laughs> People are asking, what was it like to have Sean as a roommate? Kyla has described that living with me is kind of like living with the uh, a reclusive Tasmanian devil. And that I would exit my room and come out into the suite and speak in this flurry of activity and blah, 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 like rambling, how are you, and here's what's going on, here's a joke, here's a clip, oh, all right, I gotta go, and then shut my door and then you wouldn't hear from me for eight hours. All right, new game. Dun, dun, dun. 
In the history of wars, the most important conflict of all often goes unmentioned. Perhaps it's because it took place entirely within Wintermore Academy, a small east northeastern boarding school. Oh, we're crisscrossing through it. Can I hover over this, or does it just glint? Yeah. War never changes. Oh, it wants me to click the left mouse button. Look at this UI. Guiding the complete idiot that is the streamer. Ugh. Can never work with talent, you know what I mean? Perhaps it's because it happened in 1981 when there was no internet. <laughs> or perhaps any tale with the fate of the very world at stake is destined to fade into myth and legend. We can't know for sure. Ah, yes, for any of you who have ever uh, tried to apply to a college. Extracurriculars, for whatever reason, matter disproportionately so. When you get into the real world, they're like, we'd like to hire you to code. Can you code? And you go, yes. And they go, you're hired. You don't go, I learned a lot about coding by being on the fencing team. <laughs> oh, a fencing-driven coder? Yes, please. Tell me more. I know the War of the Clubs really did happen because I was there. Wintermore student clubs turned against one another and began to vanish from the earth. Holy shit, this actually really mirrors my high school experience, man. Alright. A great darkness consumed the clubs, growing in power until it threatened to plunge the human realm into chaos. And that's what would have happened if not for one hero. This is her tale. The tale of how a group of friends saved the world from the War of the Clubs. I like it. I now, the, the stage has been set, I know the stakes, and you know what my critique of the writing is? Nothing. Because this game is a work of pure perfection made by divine beings. And you can get it on Steam today. God, that feels good. Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag not an ad. Oh, it's me. I'm walking around. Look at me go. Alicia. Uh, why does this always happen? Tactics Club is in five minutes. I know I left my dice around here somewhere. I should really pay more attention to where I leave my stuff. Uh, I'm walking around! Alright. Oh, and I can hold it? Made for both StarCraft players and Diablo players. Look at this. Oh, okay. So, left click moves me. This is great. Hold tab to expand. Find my dice. Ah, yes, tab my quest menu. Perfect. Main quest. Complete these quests in order to advance the game. Tactics time. Find my dice. Hey, how's the audio? The, the, the music is sounding a little loud for me, but I also have an individual volume knob. The important thing is, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I'm going to turn it down a bit. There we go. There we go. How's that? It's not loud enough. Oh no. All right. Tactics time. Press enter to track or untrack this quest. Perfect. I'm always losing my dice. Character sheet. I'm Jaya. Player. Oh. Oh shit. Yes. I'm gleaning that I'm going to be doing some tactics based stuff. Press escape to exit. And so it has been done. So if I left click, I hover towards this giant beam of light. And if I right click, things glow. No, no. When I right click, not. In fact, if I do nothing, they glow. Uh oh. Attribution bias in action. Okay. A rejection letter from our school's journal. They said my story didn't fit the theme of the nostalgia of winter. I guess sometimes you really need to spell out the subtext of dragon werewolves. My dice aren't here, though. I'm going to... Are my dice in the poster? My childhood friend gave me this one. The logo's a little intense, but it makes me think of her. So I can't bring myself to throw it out. My dice aren't here, though. Is this going to be... I don't want to mess up my blade. Is that what this is going to be? Is this this game's... I don't want to mess up my blade. In any game in which there is dialogue, there is often what I will call the terminal dialogue. Which is, you hear a lot of different variations until somebody had to program it. The character just repeats the same dead phrase again and again and again and again just to get you, the player, to fuck off. 
I love the terminal dialogue. I actually want to make a song that consists only of terminal dialogue snippets, man. I don't want to mess up my blade. I don't want to mess up my blade. I don't want to mess up my blade. I should go. I should go. I should go. My books from home, they're mostly from my favorite fantasy subgenre. Clever young women protagonists who don't do what they're told. Oh, did you write that down, Kyla? Is that you? Oh, hell yes. Absolute slam dunk. Didn't even hit the rim. Oh, here's my dice. Finally, how do they even get there? Man, I can't believe classes are starting again already. At least I have Tactics Club. Today's a big moment in our campaign. I've been looking forward to it for weeks. I should hurry if I'm going to get there on time. Will I hurry? Absolutely not. There's more glowing shit to click upon. They let me have my own hat plate because I'm just that responsible. I mostly use it to brew teas. It's a super hard to get fanzine specializing in fanfiction where everyone works at a coffee shop and nothing bad happens to any of the characters. <laughs> this is so meta. Hey, hey who, 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 here, who here reads a good amount of fanfiction? Fan community, community created, remixed kind of stuff. Because I don't. I don't. Cage Tiger raises hand. There's some, there's some dark shit out there. It's good. And when you think dark shit, you might think grisly, grim, or violent. But if you want to read some Draco Malfoy, Harry Potter slash fic, there's volumes. That's not a work. That's a category. Okay. Alicia, here's my bed where I do all sorts of scandalous things like reading after curfew. Reading Draco Malfoy and Harry Potter fanfic. Ten points for Gryffindor! I mean, it gets absolutely twisted, let me tell you. It's perfect. Alright, what else do we have going on here? Jesus, Sean. Uh, listen, I didn't... <laughs> too much? Too much? Did I not? Hashtag not sponsored? Is that okay? Like... <laughs> That's why you tune in. I know. I know you tune in for the more or less thoughtful commentary and then occasional Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, no. Anytime you hear 10 points for Gryffindor, I want you to just not be able to unremember that. Because let me tell you, let me tell you, once you've read just one line like that, it absolutely infects your mind, man. It is the first bite of the zombie in terms of thinking about Harry Potter. Oh, hey, my puzzle cube. I learned the trick to solving these from a book. So now the magic has kind of gone from it. Too true. Anything else not clicked upon? Perfect. Exiting. It's the hallway. <laughs> you want to talk? Let's go. Candace. Oh, hey, Lisa. You off to club? I'm so jealous. I've been thinking about starting a dog lovers club on campus. I think you guys have a really great club location, to be honest. Not everyone gets a classroom all to themselves after lessons are done. Brr, it's so cold at this school. I'll never get over how some of the students seem to be okay with going out in just their school uniforms. In some other games, I might zoom past the dialogue. But this game... Mm -mm -mm -mm. I know that pure gold flows from the fingertips of Kyla onto the keyboard. And that carefully depresses the no-doubt high-tech mechanical keyboard used to type this dialogue. I want to appreciate it. I want to I wanna get a sense of the mouthfeel. I guess they're used to it. Us southern girls gotta stick together and stay warm though, right? Oh hey, Alicia, you off to club? I'm so jealous. I've been thinking about starting a dog lover's club. We've reached the terminal dialogue. Alright, we're going along. It's a notice board. The girls on this floor mostly use it to leave notes, but sometimes people put odd jobs on here. Well, if this were, um, Goldeneye, odd jobs would be illegal, even though nobody read that anywhere. Everyone just sort of figured that one out on their own. Alright, I can't go around anywhere. I mean, I'm gonna go to the classroom. Oh. Ooh, it leads to club room. Here right now, one other. Here right now, one other. Isabella. Hey, Alicia. On the way to the club meeting? How goes the club life? 
Some guy tried to invite me to that martial artisans club the other day. But I don't want to accidentally hurt an amateur, you know? Martial artisans. <laughs> it's pretty good. Let me know if you ever want to work out together sometime. It's tough to find other girls here who want to stay in shape. Hey, Alicia, on the way. Okay. Kaka! The Wintermoor Raven, our school mascot. Ravens are so tight. There are some schools out there that just have some odd names for their mascots. I went to Brookwood Elementary School, and our mascot was the Brookwood Beaver. That's about what I have to say about that. Do you want to know the song for Brookwood Elementary? You're a beaver, I'm a beaver, beavers are we all. And when we get together, we do the beaver call. And then we would begin the... <laughs> the gymnasium meeting, or whatever it was. It's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. Ten points for Gryffindor. Hope they don't think the painting on a suit makes it look less ominous. It's a notice board. There's a tutoring, a job, nothing that interests me. Wait, False Fly TV says, I got one for you, Sean. My high school mascot was a cyclone. Yeah, like a tornado type thing. <laughs> that's like really, that's like really specific, wow. Yeah, we're, we're the Brookwood River-Driven Erosion. <laughs> or the Hurricanes. Alright, it's very clear I should not be going this direction, but, you know, I gotta wander around. What is this? To Science Lab. Locked. Nope, it's locked. Nope, it's locked. Locked. Wow, there's actually different... Look at this. Look at the thorough. It's locked. I can't get... Four pieces of dialogue. Can we get to five? No. But I mean, who needs who needs five, huh? Who needs five? Four out of five will do. The club room. I see, and the door's cracked. Let me know it's open. Oh. Nope, it's locked. Look at this. Look, look at the look at the quality dialogue, just to make sure that I know all the different ways in which I can't get in. Hey guys, sorry I'm Play? Where is everybody? Jacob, I would expect to be late, but Colin is usually more responsible than this. Maybe I should go find them? Hmm, then again, this might be the perfect time to get a little curses and catacombs practice in. Oh, yes. Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh. 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 Okay. I'm ready for a little C&C &C before some R&R. &R. Yeah, it never hurts to get a little extra practice. Tutorialize me. Okay, I set up some some dorkling enemies, like it suggests in the Catacomb Master's Guide. I'll start with my own character, the Brave Mage. Is it Anjaya? Or is it Anhaya? I assume it's Anjaya. She can cast sparks, so I'll put her near those darklings that are grouped together. Oop, we, we have a little hover ASMR. Left click to move. Alright, so I assume the, the green is where I can go. And the red is the indication of my range, probably. Left click to attack both enemies. And Jai's attack spreads to all enemies touching her target tile. Okay, so with her still selected, I just left click here. Alright. Mmm. Oh, yes. Absolutely struck down. Let's put Jacob character Rogi over here. He's a rogue, obviously. He can move fastest. Now, does fastest mean the farthest, or does it mean the most frequently? Click on Rogi's icon to select him. I assume I can also click here. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. The movement doth flow. <laughs> Left click to attack the Dorkling. Oh my god, and look at this. This, this is a depiction of my cone of volume when I'm speaking to someone directly in front of me. <laughs> and, hmm, 
Paladin likes to fight head-on with his armored Paladin, Eodwald. Is it Eodwald? I actually am certain that's wrong, but that's the way it is now. The power of the written word, huh? So he'd be out in the open. It's Eodwald. <laughs> Left click to attack. Righteous strike. And it has taunt. Ah. Okay, that's all we can do this turn. Time to let the Dorklings attack. <laughs> Cage Tiger says, yes, our combat was inspired by Into the Breach. Although it's substantially more forgiving. Ooh, yeah, it better be, man. Fuck. You know, I, I gotta say, there is something that I really like about small numbers when compared to large numbers. Like, I... When I see some RPGs where it's like, this deals 6,827 damage, and then this deals 4,223 damage, like, it, it feel, th those feel like on the same scale. The only way that I feel a sense of growth or impact is if it's like 10,000 to 100,000 to a million. But when you have small numbers, I, I, I feel like I can grok much more easily the difference between two damage and three damage. These Dorklings have three health. So three damage kills them, two damage leaves them alive. Ah, I like really really like that. Uh. Mm. Excellent. When you can't do anything more, end it. End the game. Enemy turn. Ah! Ah, my face! Ah! Fuck! Jesus! Ah! Holy shit! Don't bite me! Ah! So it looks like, um, Eodwaldian, e Eodwaldian does in fact have a little bit of armor, it looks like. Okay, so I'm, I'm gleaning from this UI that the one is the armor point there. Neither of these folks. All right, I'm going to use myself. Spock! So if I zap like this... So if I move over to here... So I can only do melee attacks. I'll hit this. Hiya! All right. Let's go, Rogi. See you later, alligator. Oh, look at that. Sick plays from your pal, Sean. Do I play tactics games for the tactics? I play it for the power trip, like an adult. Ding dong. All right. Just, just have your arms crossed and just... Un really, sword swinging comes from the hips, is what I'm learning. Don't fuck with me. I'm stupendous. Alright, enemies defeated. Five. Damage dealt 15. Nice. I hit par. Ten points for Gryffindor, huh? Alright. I think I'm getting better. That is probably enough practice for now. Starting to worry about Colin and Jacob. They really should have been here by now. I should see if I can find them. Oh, where is everyone? Will I just be on top of the quests for the remainder of the day? Yes. I'm really worried about them. What does the calendar say? Oh, it's a cat calendar. It's got some jokes. Let's look at today's joke. <laughs> I'm really worried about my friends. What is today's joke? All right. What do you call a cat in a station wagon? What do you call it, Kyla? A car pet. Oh, a cat calendar. It's got some jokes. Let's see today's joke. What do you call a cat in a station wagon? Oh, wait. Of course there wouldn't be different dialogue. It's still today. Figuring it out, figuring it out. I, I like to play games to get a sense of the underlying systems. It's a real way. I think it's a... 
It's it's what uh, I feel like my designer's mind allows me to do, you know. I... <laughs> it's the quote of the day. Let's check it four times and see if it changes. Very good. Okay. Oh, what's this book? Attention students. The classroom computer is for educational purposes only. Please refrain from using it for stock exchange. Tips and tricks. Physical armor only reduces damage from physical attacks. Magical army only reduces damage from magical attacks. Make sure to use the correct attack type against armored enemies. Attacks with chaining. Got it. Got it. I don't need tutorials. I've already figured everything out. All right, let's let's take a peek. Find Colin. Find Jacob. Find Colin. Find Jacob. Escape to quit. Everything's locked. How will you get your tendies without the computer? <laughs> ah, yes. Some guy tried to invite me to the... Oh, yeah. Okay. There's some games where there's audio clips from it, and I just can't stop procking it. That just feels good. I'm gonna go to the quad. Thing in the quad. Wintermore is. I wanna go up there and put. Aw, troll! E.T., troll home. Finally, there you are! What are you up. Oh. Really, Jacob? Again? <laughs> oh, hello. Uh -huh. Am I late for the club again? Sorry, I just... Oh, I got some cheese writer's block going on here. Writer's block? Oh, I don't know what Wintermore is. You know, do you, you know what I'm talking about? I'm not crazy. It needs to be something that really sells our contempt for Wintermore's fascist authority, while at the same time not acknowledging that authority. Ah... Uh. Uh. Ooh. I think I think Wintermore is heckin' hell, huh? Alright, what do we think? I just shout at me. Is it any okay, let's do it this way. Let's do it this way. Okay, don't type anything. If you think it should be fascist, I want you to type fascist. And we'll just see how many come up. Okay, gonna give a few seconds for that. Okay. If you think it should be hell, let me hear you say it. Let me hear you say it. Okay, we have you know, a handful of fascist. We have a handful of supporters of fascism. There's a lot of hell lovers here. What about Wintermore is unfair? Who are the snivelers among us? Wintermore is unfair. You know the biggest issue I have with fascism? Is it's unfairness. Okay, no one wants unfair or fascist. What about lame? What about lame-o? Lame. All right, it's between hell and lame, and it looks like the lame. The absolute lamers have it. Wintermore is lame. <laughs> oh, oh, Alicia, it's lame. Yeah, oh, man. Oh, that's the one. Do you think you could take a break from fighting the man for a second and come fight some dorklings and ogres for a second? Oh yeah, we're we're fighting evil again, correct? He's fascist, huh? Oh, I'm going to think of I'm going to think of some dialogue lines when I'm in the shower reflecting. That I, I, I'm not the only person who does that, right? Where someone makes you really mad and you just absolutely subserviently duck out of the conversation, and then that day, you're in the shower shampooing a little too vigorously, and that's when you got to die. That's when you know what to say, and you're crushing his soul like a trash compactor in your mind. Absolutely, Jacob has the vigorous shampoo attitude to him. Bye, Jacob. Three movement, max health, fizz armor. Mug armor. Burr, 
it's really cold, but I can't rest until I find that butterfly. <laughs> Should we tell her? Haven't you always wondered where the bugs go in the winter? Snow is fine and all, but I can't wait for the summer so we can get the bees back. Hey, Death Blossom, our Swedish friend. Can't often join us, but when he does, he kicks the door in with 50 gifted subs. Hell yeah, Death Blossom. Death Blossom, thanks for the 50 gifty. Now, for any of you who did receive a gifted sub from Death Blossom, keep in mind the money you save by receiving the free sub. You can always spend for 10 bucks and change getting this game made by one of my old roommates, okay? Perfect. Mm. Uh. Uh. Hey, Snara got one. What up, Snara? Feeling good, huh? So we can get all the bees back. Oh, yes. Listen, if you pry the bark off some of these trees, you can find hibernating beetles. It's wild. Burr. Okay, so wh who's this character again? This is Maisie. Maisie the Daisy loveys her buggies. She's absolutely enamored by bugs. Oh, did I... Did I leave? No, no, no. We, we, are, we, we did it. We did it. We, we completed this. Tis the library. Look at Skipper's absolute rhinoceros do. What is this thing anyway? Some kind of instruction manual for being a nerd? It's my catacomb master manual. I doubt it would appeal to someone of your intellectual prowess. Dude, I think he just called you some kind of lady boat. May, may I have the manual back, please? I'm late for tactics club. Dang, he's right, Skip. We're gonna be late for practice. I forgot the voice I did for Skipper. I completely forgot what it was. You got lucky this time, nerd. Was it that one? Out of the way. No one believes me about my investment advice, because I'm just a kid. If you want to do a real solid stock trading, you got to keep up with modern technology. <laughs> Only invest in companies that are stored on the blockchain. Are we doing it? <laughs> All you have to do is say whatever your product is and append machine learning to it, and you immediately triple your company valuation. Our unique brand of contact solution uses machine learning to identify exactly how to let the contact soak in a vat of fluid overnight. Charnel Fireman, happy Friday. Thanks for the 10 gifts. We appreciate it greatly. Charnel Fire, hey, quick question. Who here, who here is buying Wintermore Tactics Club as a result of your shamelessly plugging, shilling, yelling day nine? You did, and you are! Hooray! Woohoo! Yay! Yay! Ah, yes. Excellent. Excellent. Here's a hot tip about cutting-edge technology that's going to revolutionize the future. Carphones. <laughs> Sorry, I only invest in today's joke, Carpets. No one believes me about my investment advice because I'm just a kid. Nah. <laughs> I click on these in its instructions for farming in Stardew Valley. Some classics here. War and Peace, Dracula, Moby Dick. Oh, this is section 7.13. Events that didn't actually happen. <laughs> this is a Dewey Decimal System joke. Was I a nut, Dad? Tuna I saw? Oh, this is section 7.12. Palindromes. You can't do it. Nine excruciating steps to worsen your life. Oh, this is section 711, reverse psychology. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. What? What's the final? What's the final leg puller? Statutes governing disputes involving property delineation of grazing rights. Oh, this is section 710, true crime. Ha ha ha! 
That, that is a really good joke. That's a real, wow, excellent. That was fucking good, man. Oh, man. Hamlet, the dog who denounced the gold standard in Uncommon Courage, the life of Arby Barnmouth, founder of Gebsa. What do these even have in common? This section is labeled 8.6 books that are included in this classification. How is that helpful? Oh, the possibilities. Is this section 8.7? Ooh, ooh. Oh, this is section 8.7. Cat jokes. Okay. What are the possibilities when I'm a little baby? <laughs> you die if you count to 100. Oh, this is section 8.5, number theory. Okay. Okay. Ah! Ab! Oh, this is section 9.5, other combinations of letters. Okay. P. Quentin Shen's Practical Guide to Debunking Deities. Oh, this is section 9.4, mythologies. Okay, okay, okay. Scrang a blang! Toodle bloodle bloop! Oh, this is section 9.3, noises. <laughs> yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! This is the one right here. More in here? Ah, ab. Put on the corner of my room and the books! No, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to tell I forget to eat it, man, I'm telling you, you're right, and put it on a book. No, I'm fine, I'll do a book. For any of you who don't know this, I was paid no dollars to do this professional voice acting for this game that I need you to buy. I was, in fact, paid no money, given no free key. I paid for this with my own money, which means, truly, the amount of shamelessness I have is motivated by nothing other than nostalgia and love. Just like you would with a little baby. What up, Colin? You doing okay? Oh, jeez. I saw you getting bullied, and I decided to look at every single bookshelf in a stranger and then check in on you. Yeah, I, I'm fine. I, just, I won't let those morons get to me. Kind of impressed that you kept your cool. If that was me, I might have freaked out. Oh, I want to start screaming, but I just like to think of it like I like to think of the rest of my life. I may as well get used to being disempowered. He'll study hard and be successful, which is like gaining experience and growing stronger. No. Yes. No. But they'll just stay the same generic low-level monsters, and we'll be able to beat them with a morning star. Metaphorically. Although I, <laughs> I will hit him with a club. Speaking of low-level monsters... Uh, right! Today is the big showdown against Count... Mal... 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 Maljiferous. Maljiferous? Maljiferous? Sorry, leader should never be late. Let's go. Oh! Here I go! Going back to the club. I love the audio on this. Oh good, you're here, sorry. We were late, well, let's get back to our adventure. Finally, a chance to defeat the dastardly Dorklings. <sighs> Players lost zero, damage taken four, turns taken three. Okay. Stage Tiger says, I pronounce it with a hard G, like Jeff. Careful. Careful. Careful, 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 Cage Tiger. You be very careful. I pronounce it like... Gif. Okay, for the last few sessions, we've been pursuing the evil Count Malgiferous, who stole Jaya's magical heirloom amulet. When we left off, you had finally caught up to the thieves. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> The wind blows through the trees. There's something eerie about the field where your foes have stopped. It was a very saliva-filled S. As you peer warily around you, it dawns on you why you find it so disturbing. 
This place looks to be an ancient battlefield with cracked armor and abandoned weapons strewn amidst the glass. An enterprising crow picks at an old skeleton buried in the weeds. Hey, Silvos, good to see you. Also, good morning, Ghost Talker in Scourgerland. Welcome to Day 9 TV. It gives a gruff car and flies off as you disturb its repast. What have I walked into? Uh, Rosaline Forgotten 94, you have walked into me voice acting everything. Because I am a CNC manual right now. <laughs> Press the X button to scatter your infantry because every vehicle can run them over. You're not sure why the Count and his Dorkling guards have stopped here, but they seem to be ready to fight. What will you do? I say the Amulet of Amara, excuse me, the Amulet of Amara is the guiding star of Twilight. Heed its light and it shall guide you back to the path of righteousness. The Dorklings don't speak human kin. Oh, then uh, try to communicate the sentiment to, by mime. Draw the sigil of Amara and the sigil of their god together, just fight them. What now? All right. Uh, if we have mime enthusiasts, type mime. If we have sigil enthusiasts, let's type sigil. And if there's fighty folk, type fighty. I don't want to make any of my own decisions. Sigil, 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 mime, 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 sigil, mime. It looks like fight. I think I think the mimes have it. I gesture my meaning at them. Uh, the Dorklings speak only Dorkish and Undercommon. Their language list doesn't include mine. Enraged by your confusing gestures, the Dorklings attack. You fools. Okay, so these guys are gonna gotta get all chained up and up and up. Right click on the... Oh, hold right click. Dorklings attack the closest character or whoever attacked them this turn. Physical armor one, damn. So, oh, Jesus. Oh, jeez. So if I move here, I can actually zippity zappity. Crickety crack. That Dorkling Knight armor doesn't protect from my magical attacks, right? Right! It's definitely a tactical move for you to fry them! Ooh, ooh! So, couple of mechanics questions. If I move here, and then I strike this guy, what is the interaction between this dude flying backwards and this guy? Does he just fly through? Okay, so it's sort of like traversal. A rogi deals reduced damage to enemies with physical armor. You should let Anjaya handle those knights. Look, I'm here to kick some dorklings. You're the expert of what happens when I do. All right, going in and commencing the bot. With a swing of the hips, the sword slashes through the face of the enemies. La 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 la. <laughs> Player's turn. All right, so <sighs> so I need to do this in three turns, huh? <laughs> So is there available movement here if I select this dude? So I think th this n is not even traversable. So I mean, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna move here and, and prepare to bop with the swing of the hips and it's gone. All right.
I think I just move. Oh sh! Oh god! Oh, this way! Hit him! See, I can't even do creature sound effects. Why am I not hired to do all the sounds of all games? Why not? Do I want to? No, not at all. But why don't I get it? You know, that's what I'm saying. Holy shit, that actually hits from this range? Oh my god. Anjaya is absolutely busted. La la la. How about we do a good old one shot plot here, huh? Bing bang bong. Number one. Number one. God, I am just a, such a stup stupendous human. You've taken out all guards, leaving just the Count holding the amulet. Just when it seems like you've won, suddenly... Attention all student clubs. <laughs> Doesn't sound like anything. Yeah, I should just do the nasally voice, huh? Alright, pinch the nose. Uh, what now? Please report to the auditorium for an important announcement. Attendance is mandatory for all club voices. Yeah, the Bane voice, right? It's like, Attention, students! <laughs> oh man, it was just getting good, too. Well, let's go to the assembly. <laughs> Principal Bane, yes. Auditorium? Is the auditorium open? Beep. Who's this? Oh, hey, Alicia. Fancy seeing you here. I mean, obviously we both go to the same school and all. Um, oh my god. Do, do you feel that? Todd's in love. Oh god, she's talking to me. What do I say? Ah, uh, have a cool day. Ah. Uh. Oh, hey, Alicia, fancy seeing you here. Uh, mm. I mean, obviously, I we both go to the same school and all. It's a notice board. Teachers leave notes here. Mm. Have a cool day. It's locked. Holy cr look at that look at that rip student man absolute knuckle bearer why, why do we need to be here did someone do something wrong do we do, do we do we do something wrong it's probably not us I am cool calm and collected and I'm having a cool day thanks to Todd who's in the middle of an anxiety attack He's having a semester-long anxiety attack because his crush is within one mile of him at all points in time. We've all been there before! <sighs> How do I breathe in a way that'll make her like me? I'm breathing like such a loser. <sighs> Who knows? Maybe it's even good news. Ah, greetings, club-minded students. So glad to see you all upholding Wintermo's beloved tradition of student clubs and organizations. Why, they say John Gentle Roy Wintermo himself was a member of the Gentleman's Endangered Bird Shooting Association. The good old Jebsba. Is this going somewhere? I mean, what a loser. As a strong supporter of clubs and student activities on campus, I am pleased to announce a rare opportunity to prove your club's pride and in individuality. All of you will have the pleasure of competing in a mandatory school-wide snowball tournament, where the winner is named the ultimate club. Jazz fingers. Well, I... <laughs> Sounds like a waste of time. The good news is, it shouldn't be too tough for us to lose as fast as humanly possible. I know what you're thinking. 
Why should I care about being the ultimate club? Well, how about this? Clubs who lose in the tournament or refuse to participate will be disbanded immediately. What? Ah! <laughs> oh! Oh! Fuck! Oh my god! Fuck! <laughs> oh! This is fascist! Lame. Ah! Oh! <laughs> oh! Disbanded? You can't! Oh! You're such a dick! Objection. <laughs> Unjust! Such a punishment is unthinkable! I don't have- I'm out of voices, man. I, this is like my- you've seen my full range already. <laughs> I do need to get water. Like, this is- this is a little rough. Surely you can't really mean disbanded. We'll just lose our club rooms, or... No, disbanded. Kaput! As in, no more special club privileges. No more meeting with other club members, and no more practicing your hobbies with students. But hey, there's no time to keep grumbling. The tournament will begin this afternoon. You'll be assigned your first opponents shortly. Trust me, this tournament will be fun. Fun, 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 fun! The perfect activity to find the ultimate club. This is crazy. He can't... You. Fascists, all right? I'm not lying. It was only a matter of time before this school got militarized. How are we supposed to compete in a snowball tournament? It's a disaster. <laughs> We're gonna lose the club. Calm, calm down. L let's head back to the club room and regroup. We'll play a little curses and catacombs. Get her, get her head back on right. <laughs> Ah, fuck. This is a little too real for right now. It's like, oh, there's a pandemic going on and I just had a ton of my work canceled. I am going to play video games till late at night on Discord like I always do to just get my head back on straight. We've waited long enough to get back our adventure. To Whatever. I messed up the reading of that. Ah! You there, girl who is talking to me, do you think the stress of administration has finally caused Principal Einfield to snap and seek vengeance upon the student body for years of gratitude? Yes. That does seem like the simplest explanation, but sometimes mystery is not as simple as you would like it to be. I'm Becky P. <laughs> it's not responsible to speculate, but the principal must be going through some stuff in his personal life, right? He's trying to work through some issues by making everyone have snowball fights. Here, do you want a cigarette? Wait, I have to keep talking to people. You the oh. Yes. What a strange thing for the principal to say. If I don't have the historical reenactment club, I'd have to find a whole new fashion style. <laughs> Alright, I like a good snowball fight, but just thinking about losing our club gives me the creep something fierce. The equestrian club has been through worse than this. We will survive. Want to buy a doctor's note excusing you from the snowball fights? If we don't show up for the fights, Tactic Club would be disbanded for not participating, right? Huh, oh yeah, but... Want to buy a... I don't know, like, club... Like, do you want to just... I need money. There's got to be a word for that, right? I'm broke! <laughs> that old fellow who can't stop me from listening to music, ain't it? I mean, with, with, with a name like... 
blah blah blah. This this is a very like blah 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 blah. Oh, so blue, too bad that song was music good. Ding, 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 ding. I'm gonna need to get water and coffee. Everyone stay here. Listen to this charming music. Open up Steam and consider adding this to your wish list, if not purchasing it outright. I'm back. I have water, I have coffee, and I am ready to win the snowball tournament of a lifetime using my mind, heart, stomach, knees and toes knees and toes look at todd oh oh gosh he's talking to me oh <laughs> oh shit no this is unbelievable how does principal think it would raise morale to ruin life's is it just a trick? Maybe he's bluffing to get us to care about the snowball fights? I, 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 I hope so. Let's just get back. Whether tactics club ends tomorrow or not, we'll finish his campaign arc. I mean, God. This is it. It's over. First a snowball fight, and then they cut off your legs. Oh, then they're sending us to invade Canada? I read a comic book about that recently called... Was it Here We Stand? What was the comic book, the trade paperback? I think Brian K. Vaughn did it. Did he do it? Does anyone know what the fuck I'm talking about? What was that comic book? Comic book about invading Canada. We stand on guard. That's what it is. We stand on guard. We stand on guard. We stand on guard. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I liked it. Yeah, it was about, um, yeah. Mick says there was a TV show in Canada about U.S. invading for our water. Yeah, that's what the comic was about. Was that, is it based on the same one? Wait a minute. We, we stand on guard. All right, whatever. Oh, we have to resist, you know. We're gonna pull even more pranks than usual. Uh huh. I mean, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. Yeah, it was by Brian K. Vaughn, man. I'm fucking sick, man. I'm a smarty farty pants with the memories. Please don't get us kicked out of school, uh, Kermit. <laughs> nah, it's coy, man. I mean, I like a risky prank. I'm a risk taker, you know. I mean, sometimes you gotta close your eyes and floor it. Well, everything's falling apart. Is there a new dialogue as I come back? Whew! Good thing I'm not in any clubs here. My underground kickboxing ring is off campus, so it should be fine. Sorry, we never got a chance to train together. Tough break they didn't make it a board game tournament, huh? Good luck, you're pretty cool. I'd hate to see you lose to those dweebs who are always putting pamphlets everywhere. I hate pamphlets. Uh-oh. It's a stare down. It's a pop-off time. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, well, if it isn't the Wintermoor's most laughable club of the make-believe brigade. Ha <laughs> ha. Who the f Fuck do you think you are? Get the fuck out of here! You're calling us lame, aren't you guys? We're literally trying to bring back the monarchy? This is so anime. Oh my god. I'm not gonna hit the left button. Oh, it passed. I was hoping that the parallax would eventually just have one fully covering the other one. Yes, we're the young monarchists. Oh, firmly believe that monarchy is simply the most sensible form of governance. <laughs> oh my god. If you had, if you'd read any of our pamphlets, you wouldn't, you, you would be well convinced of this. Fibbolt. Jesus, I mean, this is... 
There's too many characters for me. I mean, like, just give me, give me like five. Give me five characters and I can do five voices, you know? Monarchy is way too complicated for your stupid, dumb, very bad nerd shit brains. That's why we gotta beat you down. In the snowball tournament, I mean, where your first opponents. Oh, ho, ho. Genevieve. Genevieve, guess what? I'm running low on voices, so you're gonna have to be sultry. How unfortunate for you. <laughs> Who? Why, why is that the trope in anime? It's like the seductress who's twisted, but also a little bit indifferent to everything. Hmm, how unfortunate for you. <laughs> Tactics Club, enjoy your last day in this quaint little club room. <laughs> No Timmy voice yet. Thanks, JTS is me. I forgot about that one. They're really all... I mean, they they take things seriously. Oh, wow. Jeez, what a bunch of jerks. Ugh. Yeah, I, I'm, they're the worst. We just can't... Listen, we can't let them distract us from what we came here to do. There's a chance we might be our last session. Let's at least finish this battle. Let's block out everything stressing us and finish the campaign. In I go. The final battle. Even though you defeated his guards, you see Count... <laughs> Count, it's pronounced GIF, not JIF, grinning slyly. Fools, he cries, you have no idea what malign powers lie dormant inside this amulet. Allow me to show you, the Count raises the amulet of Amara to the sky and begins to chant. I try to grab the amulet from him. Before you can reach him, the amulet suddenly clouds over. The sky dims to a sickly iron hue, and tendrils of non-hentai-like darkness sprout unnaturally from the ground itself. You are held fast in place and cannot move. <laughs> Listen, it is not hentai-like. It is in no way... It is simply not related to hentai. You ever notice that? <laughs> you ever notice that anytime someone promises that they're going to do something, it means that they might not do it. You know what I mean? It's like the assurance about something instills doubt instead of reassuring you. You know what I mean? It's like if someone was saying, hey, that book you gave me, I'll bring it back to you tomorrow. But if they said, hey, that book you gave me, I'll bring it back to you tomorrow. I promise. You immediately go, that guy might not fucking bring that book tomorrow. And there's stakes. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to just stress that these tentacles in no way have anything to do with hentai. They don't. They don't. It, it's, it's not. Just get that out of your head right now. I promise. To make matters worse, the Count and his fallen minions have morphed into blood-sucking monsters. We're netted. Oh no, it's a net. It's a net. Hopefully we don't also encounter a Sukubliat. Okay, Anjaya is stuck out in the open, totally surrounded. I don't think I can take all of that damage. <sighs> well, you know. Oh. Well, you know, I got a grappling hook in the water temple in Zelda, and it turns out it's useful in this exact situation, huh? Alright. Bonk. Shadow shove. Grapple hook. Friend focused. That's me. This attack can target allies. Allies targeted by this attack won't take damage.
so I can shove and I can hook. Never ask this again. Never. Never, ever, ever. Never. I, do I want to be asked this again? I never want you to ask me again. Perform attack. The final electrocution. So this guy attacks the opponent that is closest. Okay. I just have righteous strikers. Swing of the hips, swing of the lips. Bill runs this Dear Dan, I have created a game that can steal some of WoW's player base. My game might not be very good, but if I can just get 1% of the players. Also, Pog Champ, Poggers, Pog Pog. Poggies, Poggers, Pog Champ, Dog Ramp. Careful for standing here. This is where the bogs damp. Um, let's go ahead and end the turn. Oh ha 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 ha. Oh ha! I stab people for five people every day. So if I attack, this just hits the whole chain, man. All right. So first. I move to here. I then attack the entire chain. Let me tell you, we got some smarty pants working the design angle of things here. Go here. You use Shadow Strike. Hiya. Become shoved and blooded. With a swing of the hips. You know, before I end my turn, I want to say something. And I'm going to say it. So, um, we were talking a little bit about this yesterday when we were playing Magic. And this music really ups the stakes of what I'm going to say. <sighs> the stakes are high, and it's time for Sean to rant about something that he has a moderate opinion about. And nothing more. Okay, so like, I was talking about this with respect to resource systems in card games where Magic the Gathering, you have land cards that you can play that create the resources for casting your spell cards. So if you don't draw land, you can't cast any spells. If you draw too much land, you don't have spells to cast, even though you have the resources to do it. So there's a lot of people that have made complaints about the resource system in that game. <clears throat> a lot of the issues and struggles they've had with it. And many of these games, uh, we were talking about Categorically, there have been card games that have come out that have been focused on solving the problems in the Magic the Gathering card game. Now, this sounds like a very admirable and reasonable thing to do. We put in this system to solve this problem. Um, but there is a, a, a designer of my respect quite a bit who regularly says, and actually a lot of good designers that I respect quite a bit say, they just keep saying... Yeah, what's fun about this, though? Like, where, where is the fun? What's fun about this? And it's kind of funny how easy it is to forget that statement. Like, yeah, but where's the fun? What's the fun thing? How do you let the player do the fun thing? So, for instance, I really like strategy games. And I happen to really love one of the most pain-in-the-ass strategy games around, StarCraft. And StarCraft requires so much button pressing and organizational, logistical components before you even get to really participate in the big strategy. And it is, from a strategic and skill-based perspective, certainly very fun for me to try to be improving my skill of organization and all this stuff. But why? But why? This all leads up to the fun part, which is like surrounding a bunch of marines with zerglings, burrowing lurkers, and ripping it to shreds. 
it leads up to the fun, like, I have 800 billion units, and I'm just sending in the swarm and all this stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and end this turn and let this play out. There are things in there that are really, really fun. All right, so I electrocute. And so, so I, I bring I bring up these examples for the following. I've seen uh, failed games where people talk about how much they're solving the problems. I've seen, say, strategy games that make the player jump through a whole lot of challenges and difficulties and hoops to be able to win the battle. All right, and these are two different so two different things that are not in and of themselves bad, but still need to answer the question: What the hell is fun? What's the fun thing? How do I introduce the player? To the fun. To the, like, what is fun in the game right away. And look, this is one of the early battles, and the enemies are kind of in a stupid way clumping themselves up so that way Anjaya can absolutely electrocute the fuck out of all of them. It didn't pose a challenge to me. It wasn't some interesting puzzle I was trying to solve as a player. The designers also did not introduce necessarily some new mechanism to solve the problems of tactics games or any of the shit. They just literally put in a moment where I get to go, no fucking way, I get to deal like 800 damage? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, um, all right, hold on, let me, let me kill everything I see really fast here. And I feel like that's, that's super important. To make sure that the players have guarantees where they get to do the fun thing. Who's stupendous? I'm stupendous. My name is Day9. Yeah, Mark Rosewater's uh, 20 Years, 20 Lessons Learned is a fantastic GDC talk. But dude, I don't know, it's, it's kind of funny how like, I almost feel like there is, it's like this, this little arc you go through as a designer, you know, where it's like, I'm, I'm a player and I, I do fun stuff. Ooh, I have a really innocent idea, uh, a really naive idea that would just be like, um, I this really na naive fun idea of like, what would be fun, yay. And a lot of times those like first initial knee jerk, just like, ooh, this could be fun sort of thing. A lot of those are actually pretty fucking fun. And then there's like a layer of sophistication that you can step into where it starts to be like, actually, I'm beginning to think about this at a deep level. And I think it's, there's a problem that's a little bit more complicated and a little bit deeper. And there's more undercurrents of stuff that needs to be adjusted at a system level. And you can actually get caught so much in the problem solving weeds of figuring out and trying things that do work and don't work and change the gameplay. And wow, the gameplay is something weird and unfamiliar, but maybe this is actually good. How do I come up with a methodology to evaluate this weird new fucking thing? And then, you know, we'll watch talks about, like, Will Wright or um, Mark Rosewater. A lot of the Blizzard designers, they, they'll, they'll, you know, they come back to the end, which is like, yeah, 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 there's this problem-solving thing that happens in between, but, like, literally, what's the fun thing? Like, what's the fun thing? Let's make sure it's fun. And Motif says, I don't think the monsters are programmed to clump up, though. I would argue that it doesn't appear as though they are specifically trying to do something dumb. It appears that they had a straightforward AI, and due to the architecture of the level and the layout of the enemies, by following that, the end result is that they're clumped up really obviously. Like, you'll note in that level, it introduced me to the hook action, so it hooked me back. Anjaya then had nowhere to move because it was blocked off by Eodwald, and the monster, like literally it was physically containing us. So there was nowhere to move. So I could do one zap move from across the river. And then Eodwald had only one legal target, which was the dude standing right in front of them. That was set up to inch, like I literally had no options to do anything. And options were deliberately blocked off by that river, which then guarantees that the pathing causes them to cluster, which then guarantees that I get to do the fun shit. You know what I mean? It's like easy to not look at that because you're like, oh, I just hook. Okay, I'll attack here. Okay, I'll attack there. And then the huge moment comes and you're like, holy fucking shit. Like, that's like really cool. That's like, that's like really, really tight. Now, before I begin to do some of the best voice acting you've ever seen on Twitch, 
I want to do one more uh, shout out because we need four, we need 20 play testers for a 2 p.m. Pacific play test we're doing on Monday for a little stream game that we're working on. And right now we have 14 people signed up. Uh, we're looking for six more. Uh, if any of you want to do that, go to the Day9 TV Discord. Go to day9.tv. Click on the community tab at the top. Boom, you'll see the Discord right there. There is an announcements channel you can go to. Uh, where it has some more information about the type of computer we're looking to have for the test. Um, so please help us with our with our video game. Well done, adventurers! That battle was two levels above your party's recommended challenge score. Oh! Huh. Oh! I feel so empty inside. I feel like I have no purpose. Huh. Hmm. Ah. Uh, no. No, it can't end here. This club is all I have at school. Without you guys, I I don't know where I could fit in. You're right. I put in too much effort to this club to let it die. I have no idea how we can beat them, but we have to try. Ah! I'm not going to let some fascist asshole ruin all of our lives! <coughs> it's almost time for the match. Maybe we'll think of something when we see the battlefield. Alicia, just let me know when you're ready. Half Kermit, half Chewbacca. <laughs> oh god. What? Ugh, it's still the same day. Some things never change. The passage of time, the passage of time never changes. Aw, oh, man, if I had known what was gonna happen, ah, oh, I would have just stayed on my lily pad. I, I, oh, God, ugh, oh, ugh. Oh. You ready? Yep. Prepare for defeat. We are well versed in how warfare shapes history. Our club has the clear advantage when it comes to combat. Yeah, but we're bigger than you. Ah, what a perfect winter day for our first snowball battle. Any questions before we begin? What's the real reason for the snowball tournament? Was, was the club budget cut? I mean, does the school board want you to prepare for a war? Ah, let's rap about reasons. My reason is that I want to see your reasons. The reason why you'd fight for your club. And then we're going to go get the buggers. After all, the ultimate club is the club that wants to succeed the most. Ha <laughs> ha! So just express yourself and your love for your club. And you'll do fine. I know you're just dying to get started. But first, let me lay down some rules. Since this tournament is about positive vibes and togetherness, you won't actually be killing anyone. I don't want any parents complaining to the school board that their children were slain in gladiatorial combat. Instead, each of you will be assigned stats based on detailed personal information collected by the student council. Oh, oh, Jesus, we're so screwed. These stats will make sure the tournament is fair and accurate. Once you're damaged by enough snowballs that your health reaches zero, you're out. And you may only move across these tiles placed upon the ground in discrete units. That sounds... Guys, I think... I think I'm performing lateral analysis. way the principal describes these battles, it almost sounds like CNC, doesn't it? Maybe if we just try to think about it like a CNC battle, we can use our tactics to win. Oh, of, of course! We can try to use the same tactics and abilities as our characters! Oh, fuck these king and queen ass losers! Ah! Oh. This is a tough battle, but we face tougher. 
We'll take it one turn at a time. Let's go for it. Let's connect four. What are my pars at? Fubble. Ooh, that's a nice touch. Alright, six health and an armor. Willem, two's wailing. So if I do this, this says chaining. Always targets Anjaya. Range of four. Oh, holy fucking moly. Closest, most health. Jaya. Three damage in a range, three damage in a range, three damage in a range. Physical armor, no other armors. Okay, so this dude's gonna go. You! Become selected and move here. And then it's time for you to. Wait a fucking minute. Is there an undo? What's the range on this thing? Dang, I can't quite get anyone to clump this turn, I don't think. Alright. It's time for you to become yeeted. <laughs> Down with the monarchy! Are you just kicking, people? Yeah! <laughs> Correct! Become... Flocked. Um, this is three damage, so three damage and has a range. All right. Zap. Zap it like a Polaroid picture. I did it! I threw a snowball! You mean, cast a magical bolt upon your foes. Gush! It is most likely that the Primitive Tactics Club has simply chosen the largest and strongest among them to be the leader. I shall take down this oafish elected leader, demoralizing them savagely. <laughs> Gah! Ow! Ha! <sighs> Are you ready to admit that your political worldview lacks cohesion compared to mine? Colin, use your anger! Yes. Ahem. You fiends have made a fatal misstep in stoking my deadly paladin rage. So this guy's gonna go here, which means they're gonna cluster. Hey, Alice Dare, I'm just gonna hit whoever's closest for monarchy and stuff. That's like that is that's like how turtles sound when they hump things. You know what I'm talking about? Has everyone, has everyone looked up stuff like that? You know what I'm talking about with turtles like, ah, ah. Look it up, look it up. And you're like, why on earth would I look that up? Look it up, look it up. And you're like, I don't want to look it up. I know you're looking it up, look it up. It's the cutest little noise. It is absolutely adorable. Ah. Uh, <laughs> there's... I can't remember who does the the song. I think it's a Coldplay song, where the singer goes like, Ooh, and then is, he's gonna go ah, but instead they just cut to the turtle. <laughs> Ooh, ah, <laughs> it's it's incredible. So maybe I should have had Alicia back one turn. So this is a physical attack. I 
have one physical armor. Okay, so this is... So if I hit here, I, I get both of them. So I can move like this. I can... Wickety whack. So I do this first, huh? Hey! Shut up, nerds. You'll pay for this. Ah! So I'm going to go ahead and taunt Anjaya, who does three physical damage. Eodwald has three physical health. Or three health and one armor. Ah! How dare you treat a duchess this... Oh, how dare you treat a duchess this way. The guillotine is too good for you. Ah. Oh no, I'm going to take damage. Ah. Oh. How could a nerd beat me up? Ugh. Enemy turn, you've been taunted. Take that. Wow. With a swing of the hips, she gets sliced in half. <laughs> Gasp, tell Marquis d'Evreux I acknowledge his affections. fishbowl. This, this is a fishbowl. Well, all the fish died, and I figured why waste the water that they were living in? So I've just been drinking it, is what's been happening. Oh, by the way, we're going to be ending the stream a little early today, because there are a variety of cleaning tasks that I have let fallen by the wayside, and I just want to do my errands, and I'm tired. That's it. That's it. I know. I know. I didn't mean to ruin so many lives this way. Preposterous! How could these fantasy addled layabouts defeat us? Uh, 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 we did it! Uh, Alicia, y your idea, it totally worked! Ah, wow, tough break, young monarchist. I guess you're just not the ultimate club we're looking for. You'll have to go back to enduring capitalism like the rest of us. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, I assume that this was written before the current political climate. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's fine. We're, we're gonna let that slide. I like enduring. Yeah, yeah. One day? Oh, no. What's this error message? Okay, that's fine. We don't worry about that. Capitalism isn't a governance system, though, says CN Duchess. You know... You know, let's. We're not going to read into too too much to this. The important thing is that monarchy truly is the best, because we saw how well it worked out for the queen in the movie Aliens. No, but my beautiful period costumes. Is that a pun? <laughs> Yes, you'll have to just find the nobility in that good old black and blue. <laughs> Gross. The school colors on your uniforms, I mean, not the savage beating just dealt to you by the tactics club. That hurt will fade in time when you find sanctioned non-monarchic student activities to fill your hearts. Ah, tactics clubs, you know I'm no fan of violence but I'm impressed by that performance. I guess I should have expected some viciousness from a club focused on tactical warfare, huh? You're, you're not gonna take Tactics Club away. We'll find a way out of this. We will, we will kill, snap, and kill our way into victory. No, oh, now that's the true dedication I'm looking for. See you tomorrow. You'll get your next opponent bright and early. Da, uh, da, 
didn't feel nearly as good as I thought it would. Just like that, their club is disbanded. It, it, it was us or them, Alicia. If you tell me I have to eat the dog, I will eat the dog in this dog-eat-dog -dog world. And we were victorious. Come on, we did it. Let's celebrate. Thanks, but you guys can go celebrate. I'm gonna read some fan fiction tonight. I, uh, need to find out if Harry Potter is gonna put the sorting hat on the Slytherin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks, guys. You can go celebrate. I, I think I'm just going to crash for the night. Later. Unsubbed my ruining this. Barry Whitus, Candlelightus, Girl Excitus. Has, has everyone seen that robot chicken skit? It's really good. <laughs> uh. All right, chapter complete. Hey, we did the first chapter. Now, one of my skill sets as a human being is taking perhaps 30 minutes of content and completing it in 90 minutes. Uh. Oh, I, I'm, I'm in the classroom building. I'm, uh, oh, that's right, I was going to tactics club. I may as well. How dare you? You destroyed our dreams, our hope to make a difference in the world, and for what? Just so you could play a silly little game? It's actually... It's actually quite silly. This game means a lot to us. It's the reason we all became friends, right, guys? 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 Colin? Jacob? Where? Where are you? Can't defend your actions without your pathetic little friends. This is why everyone hates you. That's right. Everyone here is just waiting for the Tactics Club to fall. I know I know this is not pronounced Thibault. This is Thibault. Good luck in the tournament, loser. You better watch your back. No! I mean I didn't mean to hurt anyone! Oh I guess all those names were more French names. I should have picked up on the Genevieve and Thibault. Save your game? You talking to me? She talking to me? Is it me? I like living life on the edge. I'm gonna go ahead and save the game. I'm not gonna... Dare to not save. Who, who, we're my non-savers in chat. It begins. Oh my god. The psychic detectives. Ah, yes. <laughs> Who is Akira? Handle. Is it Handel and Grestel? <laughs> Alright. Now? Yes, it will be the Tactics Club, our next opponents. You know what? They all have the same voice. We haven't gotten our official next opponents yet. Shh! Handle! Trust Scarlet, she knows. Try closing your eyes and smelling your opponents. You can do it. Okay. Ah, we must prepare for a mighty battle. The fate of the school balances precariously on this encounter. Don't worry, Handel. With our psychic abilities, there's no way we can lose. But Scarlet's right. It's our duty to train hard and protect this school. You know, as someone that grew up playing competitive games and still plays a lot of competitive games, I find that the people that play a lot of com competitive games, when they lose, they're like, ah, shit, good game, man. And that's it. They don't go, this is it. This is the battle that I was destined to to win and come out victorious in, whatever the hell. That's that's how people that never do anything competitive speak. I think that winning just comes down to believing in yourself. And like competitive people are like, oh yeah, I lose all the time. <laughs> like, 
Attention students, Wintermore is pleased to announce the opening of the new Wintermore Wonderland Skating Rink. Head down to the annex if you'd like to attend the grand opening ceremony officiated by your one and only student council. Copy over and out. I had a dream that three people had the same voice. Uh, 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 let me look at my books. My books from home. Uh, it's just this is my. It's a letter, and I just I, my my zine just has so many scenes. Uh. <sighs> hey, Alicia. You seem kind of down after that last battle, so I thought. We should wake you up early in the morning and not let you sleep it off and instead interrupt that with ourselves. We believe that it's time to support. <laughs> we brought you food because we don't really understand how to be supportive people. They only add salt and vinegar, so add some hot sauce we can put on them. Thanks, guys. I guess I thought I'd feel good after taking down such horrible jerks, but I get it. I get it. You always remember your first kill. You know how much it would hurt to lose your club, so you feel that hurt for other people. That's what... Oh, I forgot we're doing Colin. Uh, I, mean, that, I mean, that's what, that's, uh, that's what makes you a good person. I, but those guys were the worst. They wanted to bring civilization back to medieval times. Yeah. Yeah, monarchy is just... Fascism with a crown and a scepter. Oh my god, it's Rob Voice. Love you too, Rob. How you doing, man? I'm, I'm gonna... I'm texting you. Here it comes. Take that. I guess maybe the school is better off without a club trying to bring back the feudal system. Exactly, Alicia, believe me, I wouldn't be fighting if I wasn't sure we're the good guys. Ooh. Ooh. Are we the baddies? And our next opponents, these psychic detectives, are even worse. They just, they're gross and they smell and their opinions are different from ours. It's not about who we are. It's about that we're not those people that we hate. Welcome to Twitter. Say anything you want, you fucking asshole. <laughs> Let everyone know publicly how much you don't want to have any association with those Coffee tastes good today. We, we have to be victorious for the good of the club and the good of the whole school. That's why I jump up and down. Yeah, me too. I'm going to sit on my lily pad. Ah, but you know, you, go, you, you first. You first. I don't ever want to be the first one to speak because then that way I can just poke holes in your thing and have no responsibility. <laughs> Would you mind signing my petition to let students to bring pets to campus? Most students have been too distracted by this ultimate club thing, but I, I like animals, and I think animals are the best, and would you mind signing? It's a notice board. Oh, whoops. Oh, I'm sorry, I gotta talk to you. You know what? The whole problem with all of this is snow. Yeah, I'm with you so far, so how do we break out of it? We need, we need to melt the snow. We need to put space heaters outdoors. Huh? What? No, that's not what I meant at all. We can't we just like write a letter. No, no, no. We need to burn things outside and make sure your voice is heard. Or arson. Arson and vandalism is the best way to be heard. 
as a compromise, what if I went to talk to the student council? It's their job to keep track of school events. Plus, I heard they're in the tournament, too. So they must know something, right? Ah, oh, man, those weirdos? Ah, oh, good luck. They won't even make eye contact with me because I have school spirit. Well, it seems like a better first step than arson. Let's give it a shot. Oh, okay, so I, I think I have a plan. Whenever you're ready, meet me at the club room. I think you guys will like what I came up with. It's illegal. You can do Jacob's things first if you want. I, 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 uh. Uh. Dude, this audio. Gross. I gotta find out the cat joke of the day, though. Uh, hey, listen, I, I, I can get you a good deal on some school supplies. I mean, just don't ask. I just, I steal everything. If anyone asks, I'm not an illegal doer. What club am I in? Listen, just keep to yourself. John Gentle Roy Wintermore. Founded Wintermore Academy in 1901, shortly before... His mysterious disappearance and presumed death by wound rules. Snow is fine, but bugs are divine. Copy. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Septavia. Septavia and her sisters Octavia and Novembavia. <laughs> Attention, Wintermore students. We have two announcements to deliver regarding the skating rink ahem. Announcement one is from the principal Enfield. He says, Students, please enjoy skating on this delightful morale-boosting Wintermore Wonderland skating rink. Announcement two is from us, your student council. Under no circumstances are students allowed to skate on the skating rink until we fix the obvious safety hazards, primarily that it is still mostly water. Violators risk a permanent black mark on their record, in addition to potential hypothermia and drowning. You're all birds, and I trust you will not buy in a way unbecoming of birdliness. That is all. Or interrogate the student council. This is supposed to be a skating rink? We don't get much snow back in Oklahoma. We have a saying for things like this. We call them death traps. <laughs> Instead of wasting money on things like this here skating rink, the school should focus on investing in important things like bringing back the horses. I think bringing back a horse, of course, is a good idea. I think we can assume the school does not spend a lot of money on this. Sigh. Wow, that was a real deep sigh. Everything okay? Sigh twice. You know, I I learned that some people don't communicate about their feelings. What they do is they have a feeling, and they emit a corresponding noise. When frustrated, they go... <sighs> I tend not to do that. Have I just lied... I think I make a lot of noises. I think I relate to this person. Uh, I'm actually going to sit back and stretch my legs a little bit. And play while leaning back from a distance. Oh, that was a deep sigh. Is everything okay? I guess so. What's wrong? It's just... Well... I don't know if you've ever tried to make a long-distance call from school, but... It's really expensive. I don't know if I'm emotionally ready to be in a long-distance call. Do, like, who? I'm curious, who here is young enough that they never even needed to worry about the idea of a long-distance call? Because a lot of times when people think long-distance, they think international. But when I, when I was a kiddo, if you called to another state, it was long-distance and you had to pay money. 
like a shitload of money. We have a lot of me 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 me's. Oh, oh, look at you, your little babies. You've never made a long distance call. <laughs> You're not even state zip code. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, like yeah, area code. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, like that's so we that's so weird. All right. I try to call my boyfriend at least once a week, but it's starting to be more than I can afford. I'm thinking I should probably get a job, but what is there to get around? Oh my gosh, she's trying to do a long distance relationship. You know what's crazy? Like, I moved from Kansas to California and was able to talk to my mom whenever I wanted. There's people that would be like, Mom, I'm gonna go to the town that's an hour away. And the year is 1800, so I'll, I'm just gone forever, effectively. Like, that's crazy to me, man. That you would just be like, yeah, you know what? I'm going to go west. And you'd go, all right, see ya. And that was it. I mean, that's that's insane. No wonder letters had such emotional impact. Now, people text me, and I see that I've been texted. Like, there's a blue light blinking on my phone to let me know that I have a text. Look, here it comes. There it is. And I see that, I just see the blue light, and I go, ugh. False Fly says, Sean, what's up, up with your R's today? What do you mean? Yeah, I just... Blue light, obligations, no! Disable it like me. My man, Marcus, that's my man. All right, anyways. Probably get a job. What is there to even do around here? Underground kickboxing rings don't pay a lot until you get to higher level circuits, and I can't compete in those until I graduate. Ah! I'm pretty sure I've seen some flyers for a part-time job around campus. Do you want me to look into it for you? Wow, you do that? Yes. False slices. You're subbing a lot of R's for W's, and I gotta say, not a fan. You mean like this? <laughs> I can't help it. I'm a baby. Hey, can I take your picture? It's not for the paper. It's just for my campus scrapbook. The school is always doing stuff like this that's clearly not gonna work. Remember last year when they tried to hire a helicopter to blow all the snow off the field in the stadium? Ridiculous. Becky, leave her alone. She doesn't look like she has time for an interview right now. <laughs> Uh, I just assumed it was pretty standard for this school. Oh, they're gone! Or invisible. One of the two. Jury's still out. Uh huh? What? What? Wasn't the school council right here? Where did they go? I wanted to talk about them for the tournament. <laughs> it's Victoria and Septavia and Toyotathon. The council is always watching. Ah! Oh, you seem to have come to the right place. As secretary of the student council, I am the keeper of all school knowledge. However, I first have a question for you. Do you really care about our school's heart or do you only care about its knees? It's not, I mean, it's not, I, I do, I'm into the bee's knees, but I do care. Don't you think this term is bad for everyone? We're both trying to help Wintermore. Then prove it. I will ask you a series of questions about our institution, and you will receive information only upon answering them all to my satisfaction. And not anymore until I get my satisfaction. I'm ready. Let us start with a simple question. What is the name of our illustrious principal? Now, I know this. It's Robert Enfield. Boom. Something you no doubt committed to heart on your first day here. I'd worry if you got it wrong. Next question. A statue stands majestically in the center of the quad. Who does it depict? Arthurford Flubblesworth, Wintermore. John Gentle Roy Wintermore. Finally, a very important question. Can I trust you? And I'm like, 
Robert Enfield. <laughs> I'm just a state machine on a loop. More specifically, the slovenly, disobedient one on your team, Jacob. What would you say is his greatest weakness? Oh shit, I've been giving him a Kermit voice and like disregarding his dialogue for most of this game. Uh, I feel like it's a lack of consistency in his political views. That's probably not it, because he's just like, he's he's anti-fascist. He's anti-fascist. Consistently, everything is bad anti-fascist. So he always does, I think it's the crimes. His, well, because like... Excellent. I admire someone who puts their ambitions before their friends. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, 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 ah. Huh? Rat! Princess Adora. Rat! I gotta get coffee and water. Nobody likes a snitch. Be right back. How's everyone doing today? I'm gonna stream for like another hour and change, maybe 4, 4.30. Closing time. But I couldn't turn this puppy off without finding out how your day has been. How are you? How's your day? How's your life? What's going well for you? What's going... Where, where's your hardship lie? <laughs> no... Are we still alive? Nobody's typing anything. Help! Okay, thank God. Oh, it got real quiet. I came back. It was, it was just like not typing. I'm like, oh God, I'm alone. Leprechauns is going well. Work is actually busy. Oh, nice. The 10 who were taken. This is a good day. It is warm and sunny where I am. That's great. Craig, it's a stressful week in the office, so a bit of poo week for me. I'm sorry to hear that, Craig. I hope you didn't have the classic game developer act of treadmill mode. Hey, we have a new feature. And we're going to spend this week fixing all the shit that was broken so that way we can get right back to where we were at the end of last week. Hmm. Uh. says that's exactly my week. I knew it! Sky Blue Deer says finished finals, now time to relax. Man, that's wonderful. I want to go on a run. I want to go on a run this afternoon as well. I'm jostling my body, stretch my legs, feel nice. I, I just thought it was pretty common knowledge. Tell yourself what you will. You have passed and the student council always fulfills his promises. And the Lannister always pays their debts. Vin Fernalis says hi. I had a fantastic interview today for a night shift counselor watching over kids in a therapy home. The pay is great and good benefits and they liked me. I'm so excited. Fuck yeah. Buck, yeah. Hmm. White Mage says during my hard classes, watch your streams and that helped me a ton, man. Hell yeah! Cheers. I have calculated that it would benefit the school to share the following information. One week ago, Principal Enfield asked us to help him find the ultimate club. We spent several days doing exhaustive and often clandestine research. We put together a very detailed report, but when we showed it to him, I fly into a rage. He kept babbling about how our chosen club wouldn't be strong enough, and how he didn't understand true spirit. He locked himself in his office and wouldn't come out. He's an absolute baby dick. When he finally emerged the next day, he was calm again, and had plans for this tournament. Mick14731 says, I just finished my first week in a new job in a new city. First real software job, and I feel out of my depth. Remember, Mick14731, no matter how overwhelming a piece of software or code database is, at the end of the day, it's just code. You just grind through each piece one at a time, slowly building that mental model. Don't feel pressured to speed up. Slow down and just digest one chunk at a time. As it turns out, when it comes to code, every single person is out of their depth 
until the moment when they get it, and then it's boring. <laughs> He even demanded that the student council participate as well. We presented an airtight case that it would actively harm the school, but he refused to listen. What's so important about the Ultimate Club? Rest assured that we are investigating using our all of our senses. Finding the truth behind this madness, and in the meantime, I suggest you focus on leaning. Uh, thanks? I'll know. I'm gonna go find some flyers. Wait. No. Do you see a flyer? It's Bahama. Oh shit, not here. Oh god. It's a notice board. There's a job flyer. Gumshoe. Oh yeah, mostly desk work in this cash. Cold heart of it. Oh, hey, you're in student council, right? Armando. Uh, can you tell me what the fuck is going on? Dot, 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 I am Armando. I uh, guess I'll talk to someone else. Oh, oh, hi. Oh, it's nice to see you uh, exist. Uh, uh, I, I, I really like your hair. It's, oh. Uh, oh, God, why do I say it about her hair? <laughs> Todd's the best, man. Everyone's been Todd at some point. All right, I'm gonna find job posters, man. You give me a quest, I'll do it. Is it a side quest? It's top priority. It's a notice board. Oh my god, it's job flyer. Oh fuck yeah. Oh my god, I don't even pay attention to what it is. Doesn't matter. To the classrooms. Oh, Alasdair, I'm sorry that you got fisted. Ah, Alicia, I bear, I bear you no ill will for your victory in the snowball tournament. Dialectical conflict is how society must progress. History will prove that monarchists are the true victors. Plus, now that students are no longer allowed to have pamphlets, they've become much more popular. Phew! Kaka! It's a, a dog groomer! Kelly, you look unstable. Huh? Oh, hi, oh, hi, uh, who didn't see you there? Uh, are you doing all right? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, yes, I was just, I was thinking. What's up? Uh, I can't shake the feeling that my pants are getting stale. Excuse me, my pranks are getting stale. Whoops. I don't know. I feel like my pants are getting stale. I feel like, I don't know. It's it's all the, it's the tough edges to the pants that make me think it. I need you to think of another prank, but it just can't be any prank. I need to be the ultimate prank. Hoo, hoo, hoo. That sounds fun. Oh yeah, it'll uh, be really good once I uh, think of it. Do you have writer's block? Uh, yes. Although in my field we call it clown downtime. Uh, if only I could uh, find inspiration uh, in these uh, dreary workday uh, halls. Say, do you know anyone who's passionate about pranks? I might be able to find some person. Am I done with this? I gotta return to Isabel. <gasps> That's the incredibly intimidating student council president, Septavia. 
she uh, she looks busy. Maybe I shouldn't bother her. Ah. Uh. 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 You know, I, I I feel like there is no doubt a folder full of like eight hundred different ah uh ah uh, ah uh, 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 mm, you know. I'm going this way, man. I'm going back to Isabel. The grunts folder. Uh, ah. What'd you find? Well, there are a few flyers, but... What? Three flyers? Let me see. Whoa! Hmm. Hmm. It's too much pressure to say you pick one. Shit. I mean, I think that I should just tell her a private detective's assistant might fight some goons, huh? Takes a tough person to do sewer maintenance. I think it takes a tough person to do sewer maintenance. I think that's the one. Because, like, kickboxing... Yeah, I'm going to go to the sewer. Come on! Sounds perfect, perfect. Oh man, Leo will be so happy. I'm gonna call him tonight and tell him. You're welcome. I hope it works out. Here, take this token on my grave. Fuck yeah, side quests are gonna be something I'm gonna be doing in this game. Imagine how big the grunt folder in Banjo Kazooie must have been. Dirge Dancer, it was very small. And they just played the same grunt at different tones. This was done, a, like, a lot in old games. Like, um... Um... In, uh, in Mario, the music... Oh, the, you know, the... You know how, like, that, if you play it really fast, it's... You know, it's that little trail noise that plays when you pick up a mushroom. You you guys know about this? That you, that the okay when you touch the flag, the noise that happens when you touch the flag. If you play that fast, that's the same noise as the when you pick up a mushroom. Yeah, I don't. You don't believe me? Well, I mean, I actually can't. Um, I can't show you because Nintendo will be like DMCA. Take the video down. <laughs> But yeah, like, so in Banjo-Kazooie, you just had a err, uh, and then you just play it at different err, uh, err, uh, err, uh, err, uh, err, uh, err, uh, err, 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 So you would, like, uh, pitch it up and down and play it for slightly different l lengths of time. It's really good, man. Yeah, that'll fuck you up, man. You should look that up. Okay. Spark gains friend focus. It can chain through allies. Shit! Thanks again. Thanks again. Upgrades! Make your CNC characters more powerful. Equip them by hitting with the tab. Tic Tacs. Hey, quick question, Kyle. How many chapters are in this game? How many chapters? Kadoing says, I really love optimizations like that. I think we should continue that. This is actually... I, I heard um, a programmer angrily tell me that young kiddos in uh, who do programming don't understand optimization at all. You have more complicated older games that run way more smoothly than newer, simpler games because these young kids have never had to learn about optimization. They just have incredible hardware all the time. Who, who, who cares? They never have to say, like, we can only have eight sounds on the disc, period. Find a prankster. Who, who, who's, who's the prankster? Hey, 
Hey, uh, Jacob, you mind helping me with a quick favor? Ah, uh, sure, as long as it brings down fascism. This girl on campus wants some inspiration for a prank. I thought you might be able to help. Clown downtime, huh? Oh! Got a few techniques that might help. Just tell me when and where. Hey, I heard you were having some trouble coming up with a prank, kiddo. Uh, it's just, uh, you know, hard to find a... Entire classroom's worth of livestock, you know? Yeah, uh-huh. Usually birds are easier to get and they can make a lot of noise and a ruckus compared to their size. Birds, huh? Oh. Oh, I have it. A great idea. Oh, my God. Blah. Help me get a bird! Meet me back when you've got a bird. What? But go get a bird. The fuck? I gotta find her a bird. All right, I'm ready for some tic tacs. Wait, what? Wait, what? What the fuck am I supposed to do? Go to the club room? Oh, and I, do I talk to this guy? Okay, oh my god. Okay, so what's your big plan? Uh, I've been thinking a lot about our strengths as a club. We're the tactics club, right? So first of all, I think the most valuable thing we can do is come up with strategies to maximize our tacticality in combat. That's some practicality right there. Oh, fuck yeah! Yes, sweet power moves. That sounds suspiciously like we might involve physical exercise. Not necessarily. I'm telling you, man, not necessarily. I think we can work it all out with a CNC board. See, I found some special combat abilities in CNC that we can apply to our snowball fights. I call them tactics powers. I can wrap my whole head around that. You want us to treat our strategies on the snowball field like CNC ability? Let me show you what you got. Birth of Brilliance. Oh, there's a large button that says Enter Battle. I should probably click that. Okay, when we last left our heroes, Anjaya had just gotten back the amulet of Amara. As soon as you touched it again, Anjaya, you were visited by a vision telling you to go to the Cave of Destiny, where your tactics power will be revealed. Wow, that sounds like a pretty epic adventure. I don't know why I changed voice all of a sudden. Will we have to cross the Whispering Mountains or the Tormented Swamp? Normally, but that's not the re relevant parts. So we'll just say you walk to the cave without further incident. So, like, how do I do the thing that looks awesome? Far from it. You must first spend a full week in deep meditation, communing with the magics of the cave. Rat. I like the little dice roll graphic. That is exactly what happens. A scouting party from the army of Count... <laughs> Count Jeff, not Gif, has arrived at the cave. Not again. But it's okay. See, Anjaya, finish your meditation early. So due to our magical intellect, everyone else is locked in meditation, Anjaya. It's up to you to protect your party with your newfound tactics power. Oh, shit. Okay, Brilliant Beam costs five mana per use. Cooldown of one turn after use. Tax every target. Wow. Every square between the attacker and the target. You got it. Mm-hmm. Okay. What's this? Oh, no. The Day 9 interface is covering things up. All right. Here he goes. <sighs> and in the turn. Line them up. Bing bong, ding dong, bing. I cast Brilliant Beam again. Sorry, but tactics powers take a full round to recharge. I guess that makes sense. La, 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 la.
Let's just line them up. Here it is. Here it is. That was close. Line them up. Stage complete. Enemies defeated. This many defeated. Par, 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 par. Line um up. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. That was great. If I could do anything like that brilliant beam in a snowball fight, we may have a chance of winning again. Hey, Colin, I know Alicia's better at tactics than I am, but can I get a tactics power? Definitely, and I'll get one. As soon as you're ready, I'll unveil them during the next battle. I didn't mean to leave. Oh, hey, Alicia. I can give you back that book you loaned me. Just let me know when you want it. So what did you think? I didn't finish it, actually. I appreciate you loaning it to me, but it was much too sci-fi for a fantasy book. Mm. Huh? It's called Dragon Quest. It has dragons in it. Should have known Pattermaster and Left Hand of Darkness were too weird. Elric of Melnybone wasn't heroic enough. To be fair, you never read the book I suggested. I really tried. It's just a little too, um, detailed. Detailed? Of course it is! It's the mythological primer for the most important fantasy book ever written. Decades of lore and world building went into it. That's what makes it great! It's just... awful. You know where there's all kinds of exciting stuff that happens in fantasy, right? You don't have to just read a handful of books by the same guy over and over. But why mess with perfect stories? Yeah. Layhard adventure, the ultimate heroic quest, and a classic creation myth. What more could you possibly want? Maybe more than two women across the entire set of books? Boom! Boom! Cub! Damn! Damn! Dunked! Absolutely ripped in twain! Completely shattered at the knee. I don't even believe it. Absolutely dog rammed. Alicia, that's what I want you to read. This one has powerful and important goddesses. There's a the forest mother and the giver of fruits who makes things grow. And the gentle goddess with the power to heal all hurts. Hey. All I'm trying to say is it can be it can be good to read things that are different. And it could be worth to step outside your comfort zone a little. You might learn about all sorts of magic and monsters and heroes you never thought were possible. To read your book, would you give Left Hand of Darkness another shot? Alright, if it means that much to you, deal. Cool. I keep forgetting to update my character sheet. There's new upgrades. Wait, 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 wait. Oh! 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 Oh, you have to, you, you need, it's from here, it needs to go up to the, oh! And then this, I need to go, like that. Oh! Ah! Ah! Okay. I'm gonna find this bird. Let's go get the bird of the day. To the quad. Yes! Yeah! Fuck yeah! It's a bird! Slowly. Oh my god. Going to the classroom? Going to the bird! What the heck is the bird doing in here? Someone catch it. Get it out of here. Oops. Oh, hold on, beeline. We gotta see the cat, cat 
Dad joke of the day. Thanks, Cage Tiger. Thanks, thanks, thanks. What do you call a pile of kittens? A mountain. It's a mountain. That's the answer. <sighs> that does spark joy. That does spark joy. Can we get a mountain emote? Not a chance. Not until we have dog ramp implemented. To the art room. I don't care about any of these characters. I care only about Bird. Where is Bird? Wait, I should got to talk to Kelly? Okay. Hi, Kelly. Was uh, that helpful? I don't know if I'm really cut out for bird catching. No, did you? It's the, the beauty of the chaos. I'm inspired. You did a, a bird and brimming with new prank ideas. You turned my clown down frown upside down. Anyways, as someone who really appreciates the truly hard work we pranksters go through for your art, I want you to have this. Absolutely ready to hit the tab button. Alright, it's time to go to the next battle. To the next bataille. Psychic detectives. We must prepare to fight. Jeez, there's the psychic detectives. Ugh. gonna have to fight them. I can feel weird talking with them all alone. Okay, wait, how do I how do I fight? It's tournament bracket. Everyone in the snowball tournament is listed here. Let's see where we are. Heck yeah. The League of Extraordinary Temperance. <laughs> we have the Reckless Baking Club, the Equestrian Club, the Knitting Club, and the Bird Watching Club. Oh my god, look at this absolute hair having duo. Oh, oh, I think I need to go to the. This person? Wait, where do I go? Where do I go? Do I just keep talking to these people? Okay. Okay, this is... I guess this is it. Just as you defeat the party, a rumbling crash is heard from the northeast. Rubble scatters in front of you as an ogre mercenary barges through the wall in the cave. You have to fall back. Hello. Eodwald has finished learning his tactics powers and can join in the fight. Oh my god, perfect. Stun Hammer Slam Jammer. Cost five tactics points per use. Oh, is it like a mutual mana bar? Four damage burst. One hits every square within one tiles of the targeted area. Days. Two turns. Lose one movement. Attack steal minus two damage. Damn. Dish. What about my tactics power? Nope, still meditating. What's happening? Who's who's getting timed out? Oh, oh, it's book spoilers got muted. Okay, 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 I see. I see what's happening in our channel. Okay, my text power is called the Stun Hammer Slam. It's a smash so powerful that it leaves the enemy dazed. So let's just zap them. Oh, this guy's still meditating. Okay, so I end the turn. At the end of the turn, it looks like I gain one attack or something. Ow. Oh, 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 oh. 
Oh, please, Cluster. Oh, please, Cluster. Okay, so it looks like... Alright, Rogi has finally awakened. He's gained knowledge of a tactics power called Smoke Blight Bomb. A wide-range smoke bomb. Oh, cool. Smoke bombs. Alright, let's show him what's up. Wow, Rogi's full name makes an appearance. You must be taking this really seriously. Ooh. Heck yeah! Rogspierre Trotsky Guevara is gonna throw some smoke bombs now. Oh man. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Rogspierre Trotsky Guevara. Okay. That's a name right there. Smoke by bomb. Okay. Hits every one square within one tiles. Okay. So it looks like this is a... So if I move here, and then I smoke bomb... This is the maximum amount of, like, dudes, basically. Okay, so I don't actually want to... I think I want to zap first. Because if I zap first, this is the most amount of nerds chained together. Then I want to smoke bomb. Now that, now that the chain has been broken. Nice. And now there's smoke. What kind of smoke are we talking here? Stink bomb, ink bomb, salt and pepper bomb? Smoke that causes all characters then to do one less damage when attacking. So let's say all of the above. So it looks like I regain one tactics point per turn. Oh, that's nice. Nice little Yuan. Schwank. All right, and in the turn. All right, let's line them up. All right. So if I go here and shoot here, this this thing just deals so much damage, man. This chain lightning thing is like the absolute stone cold nuts ability. Straight up. Oh. Take him out. Do I deal one less attack? Oh shit. Undo movement. I deal one less damage. So if I'm in smoke, it hurts me too. Got it, got it, got it, got it. God, I'm so under par, man. This is so nice. Staggeringly super savvy. Triple S. Better than stupendous. Stupendous means nothing to me. I am a super stupendous kind of person. God, it feels nice. Yes. S is across the board. Yes, I see now we're getting it. Oh, and you defeated the Count's army. Good job. Now that all of our tactics powers, should we... Do we have a chance to beat those psychic detectives? Definitely, but I've got one last surprise to tip the odds. Unfortunately, no, but consider, how do superheroes without powers defeat their opponents? By being prepared. We may have our new skills, but we need to figure out the most effective way to use them against our opponents. Thus, I propose we gather intel on the psychic detectives, then work out a plan for how we can use it. Spying? Awesome. I've got lots of distractions we can use for a quick getaway. Some are pretty Some are pretty safe, even. I don't know. Spying doesn't sound like a very heroic thing to do. He's not spying, he's scouting! Toyn QC12 says, Dear Day9, do you have a minute to answer a streamer viewer question? Toyn, yes. I specifically have time to answer your streamer viewer question. I want I want to know what you want to know. And then I want to help you know what I know, so that way we can know the final answer to your question. Alright, let's hear it. Tell me. Show me what you got. It's nothing that's been typed yet. I think it's because... 
coin QC12's taken that moment to figure out the exact way to word things. Hey, is that Jackie Cray who worked on the game? Hell yeah. I'm playing your game, Jackie Cray. And I, I have a question for you, Jackie. Am I nailing the voices of every single character? Am I nailing it? You know, I don't know if you guys have ever had this happen when you go to a restaurant and, like, the manager comes up and says, and was this steak cooked perfectly? Is everything made absolutely perfectly? I hate being asked that question. I mean, because any restaurant that you go to or a manager is asking that, I didn't go to for perfection. I went there for function. You know what I mean? If I go to an olive garden and order a steak, it's not because I'm interested in having a perfectly cooked steak. Twain says, all right, so I feel like I know you very well because I've been watching you for years. You don't even know me at all, though, so it makes some jokes and such a little awkward. Does it? I don't feel any of that awkwardness with you, Tony. And I know that this is probably part one. I know this is probably part one to no doubt a deliciously multi-parted question. I don't feel awkward. Do you feel awkward? Hey, Sheriff, do you feel awkward? Hi. She is preferring to sleep. Ooh. Fantax Saints says, I guess this is a decent time to ask you some of my question about SCP containment breach earlier. I didn't, and I want to hear it, because I love SCPs. I read some of those before falling to sleep at night. And I do get nightmares sometimes, but it's okay, because they're, they're, they're really fascinatingly written. Alright, let's, let's keep advancing on with our story. Heroes have a thoroughly scout goblin forts, and I'm by the way, I'm looking for your, your follow-up question. Looking for that follow-up question, I'm looking for the SCP question too from Fentaxane. Alright, heroes have to go through uh, thoroughly scout goblin forts and other combat encounters unless they want to end up dead. Yeah, besides, they're psychic, right? It's like an unfair advantage. They're not really psychic, Jacob, it's not their real thing. Phoenix Inn says, oh, oh, SCP Containment Breach, the game got updated. Will I play it again? I'll play it again. I can't handle scary games. I just can't handle them. They're too much. They're too much. It messes with me for days, man. I just, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I'm sure it's great. I'll watch a video of it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. And also, Toyn, Toyn, um, I, I don't see your question posted. If it was a long question... Twitch will just literally not post it. There's a character limit. So if you can, like, break it into smaller chunks. I mean, that's what the government wants you to think. Twine says, a little while ago, when you were playing AOE, I made a joke about your micro. And it kind of put you on tilt, and I felt bad. Since we're good friends in this kind of one-way relationship, it feels weird. Oh! No, listen. I, I am sorry if the way I reacted made you feel like, y you were hurting me or affecting me. I, in that stream, I was far more harsh than I normally am because when I'm playing that sort of game, I just have, like, an intensity and focus level where if someone's like, do this, I'm like, I'm not going to do that. What about this? Where I, 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 I remove a lot of the usual niceties that I put on for the sake of expediency. Um, and so I, like, it's kind of like, here, here's how I might describe that attitude. If someone sends you a text and they're like, hey, I'll see you at 7. That's a perfectly fine text. But if the person always uses exclamation marks and always uses emotes and then they go, I'll send you a text, or I'll see you at 7 with no exclamation marks and no emotes, it can kind of make you go, oh, fuck. Is, are they upset? You know, so. <clears throat> oh, I gotta get more water because it's really hot in here. Uh -oh. So, so like, because I tend to be 
excessively cheery and I try to be very gentle and a lot of stuff when I have what I might describe as a, a, a more normal blunt reaction I think it's very easy to see that and go Sean is pissed and tilted and upset when actually I feel good and I actually had a number of people who after the Age of Empires 2 stream felt like I was almost off-puttingly sharp in a way that was very different than my usual tone but I was, I was totally great and I was totally fine. Um, and I think you have, you have nothing to apologize for. And I'm sorry if, when you made the joke, I uh, did behaved in a way that made you feel like you hurt me and you, you were bad and something like that. If you did say something that hurt my feelings and I was upset about it, I would, I would literally say, hey, hey man, that kind of hurts my feelings. And, and, and we'd be okay. And, and I'm totally okay with the way that the, 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 the our relationship goes. Our being me to someone who's watching, to any of you that like... <clears throat> listen, I'll tell you in a second. My, my throat is dry from all the talking. And also, it's just really hot today. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Now I, now I can... Because I, I was talking, I could feel my voice start to like... Rah, rah, rah. But, you know, specifically, I think one of the things that people found very off-putting... Um, Twain says, okay, I kind of wanted to clear the air with that. I really appreciate all the content. Enjoy watching your stream. Yeah, of course. Yeah, and, if, and if any of you ever have an issue where there's something I said that bothered you or that you were concerned that I was seeing you show up and be like, oh, not this fucking asshole again. Feel free to let me know, because I really have zero ill will towards anyone in that regard, except for the people that are permanently banned from this channel. <laughs> um, but also, it's... um. There, there is, I think part of the harshness that happened on the Age of Empires 2 stream came from me knowing really what the fuck I wanted to get an answer for in a number of circumstances. And when there's a game that's really complicated and you have a few thousand people watching and you pose a question, you get sort of a spread of different answers. So, for instance, if I said, um, <clears throat> you know, like, okay, guys, I need a really basic composition to just focus on building right now. What should be that basic composition? And someone would be like, it depends. Well, you need a scout. What do you think they're doing? And I'd be like, none of that matters right now because I don't know any of the units, period. I don't know what I'm trying to scout. Just give me two units. Just give me two units. Give me, give me two units. If, if, if I held a gun to your head and I wanted two units, which one would it be? Um, and then, you know, you get all these people be like, well, if you're against Teutons, do this. And then, like, I'd be like, no, 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 not this, not this, not this. There it is. There's a, there's an answer. Okay, cool. So I'm going to do. Um, so it's sort of... I would almost describe it as live production mode. You know, I was very much so like, all right, I want to do this. All right, I want to do this. Um, and people are getting distracted. People are answering questions I'm not asking. Let's do this. Come on. Let's do this. Let's focus on this one. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Um, because I just, I wanted answers fast to get in there, to get in there, to get in there, you know. And again, because it's a sort of deep game, there was a lot of this sort of stuff. And because I was doing that, a lot of people were concerned that I was, like, angry at various people or upset. Um, but no, I'm just, I'm just needing answers. I'm just needing answers. Twain says, might it also be because of your competitive nature when it comes to RTS? Oh, I'm going to say super no, because um, I think... Some people use the word competitive to mean that they're not good at handling losing. Um, 
Like, oh, I'm just pissed off, man. We gotta fucking win. Wow, John's competitive. No, John is not competitive. John just doesn't know how to handle himself when he's upset. Um, for me, it's uh, a, a mix of wanting answers sharply, wanting answers really sharply, like to precisely what I am asking, and also um, the fact that my entire career has been built uh, upon educational content. And so I have a lot of opinions about... Well, I shouldn't say a lot of opinions. I have a lot of experience and opinions and thought and, like, thousands of hours of effort put into how does person A communicate a set of understanding to person B? Like, that sort of thing. And I th th this happens very commonly that I find with people who, when I'm saying, hey, I want to learn how to do this, here's the question I have. And someone will go, well, really, I think you should think about it like this. And they talk at this level that's like fucking absolutely irrelevant, <laughs> you know? And I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm going to do this task for 30 seconds. Here's my question for the next 30 seconds, you know? Yeah, so I was, I was, and the thing is that for me, I, my experience of that was fucking awesome. I loved the way I was doing that. I, no, not this, not this, not this. Here's the question I have. Okay, got it. Okay, moving on. Nope, that's not what I'm asking. Okay, let's do this. Okay, no, not this, not this, not this. Okay, that's my question. That's what I need. Okay, cool, moving on. And I was like, fuck yeah, I'm learning shit fast. And there was a lot of people who were like, whoa, that's, a, that's too much intensity for me, Sean. <laughs> like... See for yourself, their leader is real spooky. Set off a smoke bomb in the boys' bathroom, she totally knew it was me. Jacob, you do that at least once a month. Everyone knows it's you. Still, she knew it in a spooky way. Alright. Let us fight. Here they are. I'm spying. I'm spying. Ugh, sh that's them. They'll never see us here. Never. They're never going to see us. Critical. We have breaking new evidence. The case of the spotted owl. It turns out the receipts for the baseball equipment were found in H.R. Dorn's trash can. Listen, these voices are just too straining on my voice. I'm just going to use my normal voice. <laughs> Handle discovered them. Um, yeah, I thought maybe trash cans are good places to find evidence that people try to get rid of. Don't sell yourself short. You found it because you had your great psychic instincts led you to that spot. <laughs> Remember your mantra. Recite it to protect against evil and failure. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm a good psychic and my powers are really strong. Exactly. Excellent. Now all that remains to close the case is to have the twins watch the bird feeders for abnormally large pigeons. Roger. Now to the next case. The case of the psychic detectives totally thrashing the pants off that weird tactics club. Indeed. Let us focus our energies and meditate on sensing the club's weaknesses. Focus your minds on the tactics club. I, I think I sense them. Oh. Everyone meet back at the club room. You scatter the psychic detectives when it's time to battle them. You'll get a bonus for knowing their strategy. Hi. Okay. Uh so let's just let's just go to Colin. <laughs> I'm going to close out my chapter 2 battle. Then probably go uh, do some laundry. Colin, let us fight. I've been saving these for a tough fight. Holy shit. There's some stuff I'd like to finish first. 
Wait, 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 wait. This can do... Chain through buddies, or deal plus one damage if they have three or more targets? Hell yeah. Wait, 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 wait. I, I want this Faraday's Cape first, because there's not going to be more than three targets, and I don't think they're going to cluster that much. But I'm going to equip this because it's new. This deals plus one damage to unhurt enemies, plus two tactics points when hitting an enemy with a negative status effect. No, I'll just do damage. Basic attacks cause enemies to deal minus one damage for one turn. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that like that. Hello, let us talk. We're ready to fight. Opponents! No need to introduce yourselves. We, the psychic detectives, already know all about you. We've foreseen our victory. You don't have a chance. E yeah! Uh. Tough words for a bunch of dorks who run around campus yelling about ghosts all the time. Colin, you're a dork, man! Ah, oh, Come on, we're all dorks here! So you're like detectives who are psychic? Or do you detect psychics? Or... Actually, I'm a psychic in training. Disgraceful! You've made Handel get down on himself. You truly are villains. Alright. Do you think you can see the shadows of destiny without a candle? <laughs> Let this battle be the spark to illuminate your path of truth. Oh! Deployment. Put this last in the back. This guy on the side. Alright. Placement complete. Enter battle. Player turn. Thong. From scouting the psychic detectives, you're ready for their psychic abilities. You will gain one magic armor for this battle. It's optional. Can be tricky. Oh, hell yes. It is a good day to spy. Oh, shit. I can't do anything. This is going to attack closest. Closest non-major magical... So I want you to yoink it off. Alright, chippity chop. Damn. It seems good. It seems good. Seems good. Seems right. Seems nice. Seems excellent. All right, I end my turn. My arm is the arm of fate. The snow is the will of the cosmos. Tactics club, can you stand before what fate has in store for you? Uh oh. One damage. Ha 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 ha. I'm not very good at fighting, but I can still help my friends. <laughs> Major magical shield, damn. Wow. This is it. I think we're focused enough for a special move, of course. Just because we can doesn't mean we have to. Alright, so I should just deal all the physically damages that I should... Oh, wait. I'm gonna... Take this. Thwap. Taunt and weaken. This one's going to deal a bunch of damage. We lost one damage because I uh, did it in this order, but that's fine. That's fine. Hmm. Has my time upon the stage really expired so swiftly? All right, I'm ending the turn. Enemy Thorno. Blong, blong. <laughs> Unforgivable! I must protect my friends and this school from you miscreants. Bring it on, Jaina. That did zero damage. Man, this damage reduction spell is so sick. John, it's happy 61 months. Eight months to go. <laughs> 
All right. Uh, I messed up. All right, I'm just gonna move here and have a paladin smack. Oh, yeah. See, I needed to move Anjaya way closer, but I just deal way too much damage. Unacceptable! I can't fall here. I have to protect the school. Ah, you with the hat. You've been hit by about a dozen snowballs. You're definitely out. I don't even need to use this. Oh, what do I do? Hundo, you must unle not unleash your true power. It's not worth it. If you lose control of your incredible psychic abilities, the whole world could be in danger. All right, great. Did I just get a magic shield? Hey, quiet kid, concede now, I'll be forced to hit you again. Oh no, I think I focused the wrong person. <laughs> oh man, it sucks to be this kid so much. What? Oh shit. Oh. Oh my god. Can't believe I've done this. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Player turn. Alright, let's do it. Okay. Get over here. I thought I could pull it over that terrain, but I guess I can since there are spike pits. To Chris is at 99. Man, Handle never stood a chance. Poor Handle. Got absolutely manhandled. Wait. Why did I not get medals? F Wait. My medals. My medals. Why, where, why did I not... Isn't this good? To not use that many powers? Isn't that good? Aren't I a, a good boy? What's going on? Why am I not the best boy? Oh. I thought that I was saving it. Ah. Oh. No. I meant to show off the tactics. Fenrir says it's not called Wintermore Not Tactics Club, Sean. Ah. Uh. Show me the dialogue. Inconceivable. How? How could this happen? Scarlet, is this, is this what you foresaw? Scarlet, you know what this means. We'll be disbanded, right? You understand that means we can't protect anyone from what's coming. Everything. Ah, good. Good, uh, good job, guys. Don't congratulate the enemy. Whatever, ever. Since you've beaten us, you better be the ones to win this now. I won't forgive you losing to anyone else. Boop, 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 doo, doo. Hey, Kyla, is there a save point coming up? Is there a save point? I hope so. Alicia, may I speak with you for a moment? Uh, sure. Soar. Events are now in motion. I sense you will play a pivotal role in overcoming a true opponent. Alicia, there is something you must do. Uh, me? Not now. But I foresee you encountering an artifact of great significance. When this happens, bring it to me. From it, we shall learn the nature of our true opponent. Fare thee well. Clip-flop, wearing flip-flops on a snowy day. Ah, that's too down, Tactics Club. You're really on a roll. How does it feel? Uh, kind of awful, actually. <laughs> now, now, there's no attitude for a club of your caliber. Just think. Now you're one step closer to becoming the ultimate club. You should be proud. Anyways, you'll receive your next assignment in the morning. I hope you're looking forward to it. Ah, uh, da da da. This is perfect. Do I want to save? 
Uh oh. Who is? Oh, it's Septavia. I wasn't expecting you to run in run into you here. Do not speak to me. You are a disappointment. Ah. Uh, what? I'm not. I tried really hard to fight for my club, and we won. That is exactly the problem. Here in the Elite Academy, you're wasting your time on that worthless club and your childish fantasies. We're not worthless. Fantasy can help people. Alicia, the world is not a game. <laughs> there are people counting on us. People looking up to us. There are those who want us to fail and those who are desperate for us to succeed. Think about all the sacrifices others made for us to get here. To make it this far. Think of all the hate they endured and for what? So you could waste this opportunity with some meaningless fantasy? The world is watching, Alicia. But I know I don't. I want. I don't want to do it. I shouldn't have to do anything. I can just why isn't it good to read books and be happy? You have to do everything right, Alicia. There's no room for failure. Even the slightest mistake, and they will tear you apart, Lisa. <laughs> don't talk to me. Go run back to your little club. You apparently can't handle the real world. No. Ooh. I can help people, I know I can. Perfect. And that is where we end our playing of Wintermore Tactics Club for the day. I have a little bit of errandy stuff I need to do this afternoon, such as cleaning all of my shit. Ta-da! And also I'm a little tired. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. That's what I'm going to be doing. Oh yeah. Oh, this music. Uh, once again, uh, my dear sweet roommate, Kyla uh, worked on this game. Some other people I know worked on this game. It's called Wintermore Tactics Club. They did not sponsor this stream, but I think you should buy their game. And you should unsub for me to help pay for it. Or you can do both. Or you can do both. <sighs> Excellent. Excellent. Um, hope you have a great weekend. We're doing a usual spread of things next week, mostly walking Magic Monday. USC Games Expo games at the end of Tuesday streams. Uh, a little Dota Wednesday. And I'll see you. See you later, alligators. Much love. Bye, 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 bye.